In this video, we'll be creating a pencil effect to an existing photograph. This is using the free software GIMP. So we'll bring in, this is a JPEG image in this example, we'll bring it into GIMP, go over to the layers, and click this duplicate icon. And we'll duplicate so that we have three different layers of the exact same image. And then while we have our first layer selected, we'll just go up to colors, and then go down to hue saturation. And we're going to take the color out of this layer. So we'll go down here to saturation and we'll just make sure we drag this all the way down so that there's no color. We've taken all the color saturation out of the image. Then we'll click OK to apply those changes. So now we have a nice black and white image. We'll go to mode and then we're going to change the way that it's overlaid with the other layers. We'll change it to HSV saturation. And it gives us sort of this effect. So it's shining through to the layer below. Now we'll click on this middle layer, the layer right below, and then we'll want to go up to Filters and go to Blur, and we'll do a Gaussian Blur. So let's just go into Blur the image, and we'll set the X and Y. You can adjust it depending on your image. We'll put this up to 7.5, and so you'll go for about this amount of blur. Again, you can change any of these steps that you want to, uh, to fit your image, but this is a good amount of blur. And then we're going to go to Colors, and we'll go down to Value Invert. And it's going to be just that a negative look like this right now, but then we're going to change the mode on it as well from Normal, and we'll go down to Dodge. And now it creates this effect. So again, changing the mode is very important on these layers. So now we're shining through um, to this very last image, so we'll, we'll select the last layer here and we'll go to colors and in this case we're just going to adjust the contrast just a little bit we're going to go to levels and we're going to just make it a little bit lighter in contrast you can do it by clicking the little dial in the middle or by just adjusting the numbers manually and we'll click OK so now that we have this look here what we're going to do is go to the top layer and we'll just right click over here in the layers and go to new from visible and that's going to create a new layer merging everything together from what we just saw and so whatever we were looking at visibly, it created all in one layer. So we can turn off these three layers and we'll still see um, just this image without, it. this way we'll be able to apply changes just to this single layer now without having to worry about the other ones. So we're gonna go up here to filters and let's go to distort and we'll do emboss. So this has some different settings. You wanna play around with this too we're going to turn this first setting all the way down. The elevation will turn up. We'll adjust this a little bit. And then we're going to turn the depth a little bit more down as well. And feel free to tweak these to get kind of a look you're going for. You want it to be kind of light. Uh, the ultimate look we're going to be trying to achieve is like a pencil, you know, um, kind of pencil shaded and, you know, created with pencil. So once you've played around with it uh, to the point where you think you'd like it, just click OK to apply those changes. And then lastly, we can go do colors and levels one more time on the entire, all the images. And we'll just change the contrast here by adjusting the black uh, input level just to give it some more contrast. We'll click OK. And this will be the final image. We can zoom in and see what this looks like. It does create a pretty good effect. And depending on the source image you use, um, it'll look really cool. And it kind of creates a, you know, quite a different texture uh, and color as well to the image. If you'd like to learn how to do more things in GIMP, feel free to check out the free tutorials here on this channel, TJ Free, and I look forward to catching you in the next video.